Hey everybody, I just broke bread with some ex-Scientologists that I really love and admire and they're concerned about this live oh, that I plan on doing about Chris Shelton. And I just wanted to address the room and quickly say my intention is actually not to bring Chris Shelton down. I don't have the, I don't have the rank. Actually, it's something different. It's that I'm experiencing cognitive dissonance. How could a leader in a cult community who actually went and got a degree, who has a master's degree in coercion, how can they be calling an ex-cult member publicly online a POS? I'm having cognitive dissonance. I'm not understanding the situation. And so immediately I think, is this a tactic that I'm unaware of that's like completely acceptable that is learned through this master's program? Or is this, like I believe, totally inappropriate? What are the rules? What, are, what the fuck are we doing here? So anyway, that's where I'm coming from. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is not me intending to have a takedown of Chris Shelton. I just, I, li I literally don't understand. My heart and mind cannot reconcile an ex-cult expert, a cult expert, who would call an ex-cult member, child essay survivor, who's trying to advocate for herself, a POS. And then write like a whole bunch of reasons why. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, a, it's a me problem because I grew up in a cult. I'm uncomfortable with this cognitive dissonance. It creeps under my skin, it bothers me. So I hope that this will let you guys know that my intention is not to take a takedown. I don't, I'm not all about that right now. I'm just, I, do, I would like to understand. How did we get here? Make it make sense. Cause it doesn't make sense.